Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to kick off my whole month-long sprint of vlogging. So, as most of you guys know, this month, November, is NaNoWriMo, also known as National Novel Writing Month. And pretty much, if you guys are not familiar with the concept of this, it is where you try to write a 50,000 word book in one month. So I believe the goal you have to set for yourself is at least 1,650 words per day. I could be wrong on that. But you have to hit it at least somewhere around that word count per day to complete those 50,000 words. And this is my second year participating. I did participate last year. However, I fail because I quit halfway through November because of school. But I am hoping with the plan I have going forward this month that I will be able to complete those 50,000 words and win NaNoWriMo this year. So definitely excited to participate again this year. Pretty much my plan for this month is again to at least get somewhere around the 1600 word mark per day but with school and everything that could be up and down every day so I don't know how much I am going to get done of this novel hopefully I'll get it all done but who knows so going on with my plans for this month I am going to do a whole separate video talking more about that and I'll have it linked down below when it goes up my plan for this month is I actually have two ideas for a novel. I have a Evil Queen retelling that I have had in my mind for a few weeks now. I didn't really do anything as far as prepping during the month of October. My concept for my novel that I want to write just hit me one day when I was watching Once Upon a Time. It was like the most random idea. But then my first concept, like I said, was an Evil Queen retelling. That would be really, really cool. My other idea, if that doesn't work, is to do some sort of fan fiction. I used to write fan fiction all the time when I was in my early teenage years. I loved writing fan fiction. I don't do it as much as I used to anymore, but I still do enjoy writing it from time to time as well as reading it. So those are my two ideas as of right now. I'm not sure which one will work out better. I'm going to stick with my Evil Queen retelling for now. But we shall see as the month goes along. So currently it is about 7.30 at night and I am about to head off and do some writing. I'm going to be listening to my audiobook which is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I'm going to be finishing it up tonight. I'm about 7 hours into it out of 10 so it's almost done. Really enjoying it so far and I'll talk about more about that when I finish it in the next couple of days or so. The other book I'm currently reading is The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey. I'm about halfway done with that book. Not really enjoying it, but again, I'll talk about more about that when I finish it. So as of right now, I am going to go head off and right now, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, so it's currently 10 o'clock. It's been a couple of hours since I last checked in and I have officially surpassed the 1600 word count for today. So that is absolutely fantastic. I am now just under 2000 words for NaNoWriMo. So Woohoo, I have quite a ways to go, but I am very happy with how much I got done tonight. I have about two and a half chapters done with this novel so far, so absolutely great. Really excited to continue on in the next couple of hours. For, for right now, I am going to go ahead and take a break and work on some homework, continue listening to my audiobook, and then maybe once I'm done with my homework, I will continuing writing throughout the night but I will keep you guys posted so I will check it in again in a couple of hours. Hey everybody so I'm back and it's currently 11 30 so it's been about an hour and a half since I last updated. Pretty much I haven't done any more writing for my NaNoWriMo project since I last checked in. I was focusing on finishing up my audiobook and doing homework so that is what I've been doing for the past hour and a half. I'm almost done with Wonder Woman which I'm so excited about. I really have enjoyed it so far. And once again, I'll talk about that more when I finish it. So stay tuned for that. And I got a lot of homework done, so that's really good. But now I am going to just go ahead and watch some Netflix for the rest of the night. And I'm going to go off to bed. So I will check in with you guys again in the morning. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to day two of NaNoWriMo. So currently it is 11 o'clock and I have not done any writing thus far this morning. I woke up around 10 o'clock, had some breakfast, and now I am just getting ready to do some writing. I have do have a pretty busy day ahead of me today. I have a ton of stuff to do. My mom has a hairdressing appointment 
for this afternoon and then I have an orthodontist appointment at four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to try to get as much training done as I can today uh, before all that stuff happens. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm still listening to Wonder Woman More Bringer on my audiobook and I am almost done with it. I have about an hour left of it. So so far so good. I am loving it and I cannot wait to finish it up and see how it all wraps up. But that is all for now and I will see you guys in a little bit for another update. Alright everybody, so I am back with another update. It's currently just past 7 o'clock and I haven't really done that much more writing since I last updated. i written maybe 200 more words or so. It hasn't been a lot. I kind of have not been in a writing mood today to be honest. Maybe that's just because of how much I got done yesterday. I don't know but hopefully that will pick up as the night goes along. But as far as how my day went, I did end up finishing Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I loved this. I was very surprised. If you guys have seen any of my videos where I've talked about this book, pretty much I was very nervous going in because this is the first book I've ever read by this author and also I was not a fan of the Wonder Woman movie. So when I went in, I was very hesitant, but I came out surprised about how much I enjoyed it and I will have a full review up on my blog probably later tonight, maybe even tomorrow, so I'll have it linked down below when it goes up if you guys want to hear more of my thoughts, but I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely loved it. Definitely recommend. So that has been my day. Now I am going to go and do some more writing, and the Bruins are on, the Boston Bruins, my home hockey team, so I'm going to be listening to that on the radio, and I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours. Alright everybody, so it is currently 9.30, and I just finished up what I think will be the end of my writing for today. I have a total of 3,600 words done, so I am still right on track with my word count for each day for NaNoWriMo, so that's great. Like I said earlier, my last update, the Bruins were on, so I was listening to that and we won, so that's also great. So now that I'm done writing for today, I think I'm just going to end up watching some booktube for a couple of hours and then probably do some reading or watch Netflix. I haven't decided yet. So I will see you guys in the morning for the next update. Good morning everybody and welcome to day three of NaNoWriMo. So currently it is 10.30 in the morning. I have been up for about an hour. I haven't done any writing yet since I just woke up. But right now I am about to just go ahead and watch some booktube and then maybe do some writing afterwards. I don't really have anything going on today. So that's pretty good, and yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted as the day goes along. I'm trying to think of an audiobook I can listen to while I'm writing. I'm thinking I have one of Stephen King's books out from the library right now, so I might start reading that. I'm not quite sure yet, but who knows what I will pick up next. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, so it's currently quarter past four in the afternoon, and as far as my writing today goes... I've only written 98 words today, so I am very behind, but I have just not been in a writing mood today. I'm kind of in a rut as far as where the story is going right now. Hopefully, I will get out of it by the end of the day, and I will hit my word count. I am crossing my fingers and saying a prayer that I will hit that, that 1600 word count for today, but at this point, I don't know. So we shall see. I pretty much have been watching YouTube and booktube all day today, so I've been extremely distracted, but I am going to take a break from booktube right now and focus on writing, and hopefully by the next time I update you guys, I will have at least a thousand words done, so I will see you in a little bit. Alright everybody, so I am back, and it is currently a quarter of eight, and I have done some more writing since I left it. So the last time I updated, I think I had about 98 words done. Like I said earlier, I was kind of rut all day. I'm not really happy with the way my story is going right now, but since I last updated, I definitely have gotten a little bit better as far as what I what direction I want this story to go in. So I'm kind of out of that for now. I have about 500 words done, so that's an improvement. 
And now I am getting ready to go watch Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time is on Friday nights at 8 o'clock. So definitely excited to see what happens in tonight's episode. Season 7 has definitely been a great one so far. Not as good as some of the previous seasons, but I'm still enjoying it. And definitely still interested to see what happens in the rest of the season. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and watch that. I don't know if I'll do any sort of writing during Once Upon a Time, but I might be back afterwards and tell you guys what I thought about tonight's episode. So stay tuned for that. Alright everybody, so it's now quarter past 11 and I have finally hit my word count for today. Yep, I did it guys. <laughs> finally, after the episode of Once Upon a Time tonight, which can we talk about that episode for a second? Like, if you guys watch Once Upon a Time, you would know if you're currently watching this season that the major plot twist at the end of this week's episode. Holy cow, I did not see that coming. And so, after once upon a time I was over getting on track with my writing, I was just, all of a sudden, my writing mood hit me, and I was able to crank out the last 1,200 words or so of the novel, so that's really good. I'm at about 2,500, or not 2,500, 5,500 words, I meant to say, right now, so I'm definitely right ahead of schedule. That's right now, according to my NaNoWriMo page, which I'll have linked down below if you guys would like to come. One of my writing buddies for the future NaNoWriMo. So that is my update for now. For now, I am going to go ahead and do some reading. I am still reading The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I am not liking this book at all, but I'll talk about that more at a later time. So hopefully I'm going to try to finish that tonight, if not tomorrow, and then I will keep you guys posted. So if I don't update it again tonight, I will let you guys know how my reading went in the morning. So I'll see you then. Good morning everybody and welcome to day four of NaNoWriMo. So currently it is quarter of twelve so it's almost afternoon and surprise surprise I haven't done any writing today. Yep, but I am about to go do some writing. I've just been not in a writing mood as usual for the past two hours since I woke up. So that's how my day has been going so I will check in with you guys when I finally have something to update on. <laughs> Alright everybody, so I am back with another update. It's currently quarter past four and I still have not done any writing. Zero De Niro today, so that's not a good thing. I've just had a crazy day. I The last time I updated you guys, I think it was about noon and then I, have to, I go to a crochet and knitting club every first Saturday of each month. So I went to that. That was from one o'clock to three o'clock. And I got home at 3.30. Okay, everybody, so it is currently 10.30. And since I lost a few guys, which was about five or six hours ago, I have gotten some writing done, but not a whole ton. So, like I said earlier in my last update, I didn't do any writing for the majority of the day. And then about 45 minutes to an hour ago, I just hit my writing mood, my writing Good morning, everybody, or should I say good afternoon, because it's no longer morning. Welcome to day five of NaNoWriMo. So currently, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. I have not vlogged all day. Pretty much, I had another really busy day today. I woke up, went on a walk with my parents around my hometown, because we have a little river walk around the river here in my uh, city. And then we went out to breakfast at a little coffee shop, which was absolutely fantastic. Then I came home, took a shower, stayed here for about 15 minutes and then I actually went to my old high school's open house for a few hours I just got back from that so haven't had any time to write not surprisingly but right now like I said I am going to go ahead and go right there is some football on tonight uh, the Patriots are actually on a bye week so they're not playing but I have a lot of other games that I could watch while the rest of the day is going on so that's what I'm going to do so I will check in with you guys in a few hours Okay, everybody, so it's currently 11.30, and I am done writing for the day. I hit my word count, and I actually got ahead of where I was supposed to be today, so I'm kind of starting to catch up because of, with yesterday, I only wrote 500 words. Today, I wrote just over 2,000, so definitely starting to catch right up, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and go read and then go to bed because I have class in the morning, so I will see you guys tomorrow. 
Okay, everybody, so I'm back. It's been about two hours or so since I last reviewed it. It is currently quarter of eight, and now I can finally sit down and write. I, as you guys know from the last day, I was editing my October wrap up. I actually had to go and refilm that because my editing software that's on my computer is just didn't like me today. So I refilmed that, and now I am uploading it onto YouTube. So. After two hours of editing, that is all done. So I did end up picking up my next read, which is going to be The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I am 12 pages into this book so far. It's, all, it's honestly, it's really short, so I could probably finish this in the next couple of days. And to be honest, I'm really liking it so far. I had very low hot expectations going in because I know this is a book you either love or hate, but so far, so good. It is a little confusing because there's a lot of characters involved. But I'm hoping that the plot will start to pick up shortly. So that's my current read. And I'll probably finish that maybe even tonight after I'm done writing. Oh, cross my fingers. So now I'm going to wait until my video is done uploading onto YouTube, publish that, and then go and write while I'm watching some Monday Night Football. Because football can't go wrong with that. So I will see you guys in probably a few hours. So I'll see you then. Good morning everybody and welcome to day 7 of NaNoWriMo. So currently it is 11.30 in the morning and I have not done any writing unsurprisingly yet today but I am about to go and film my bookshelf tour that I've been meaning to film for like 6 months now but I'm going to go ahead and do that and I also am going to film the NaNoWriMo video that talks more in depth about my details about my story and everything that I'm writing for NaNoWriMo. So that's what I'm going to go do now and I will update you guys afterwards. Okay everybody, so I'm back with another update. It's currently 5 o'clock and guess who hasn't done any writing today? Me. Yes, today has been an epic fail as far as writing so far, but I have had a pretty productive day as far as filming and getting those videos ready to go up. So I filmed my bookshelf tour which will be going up on Friday and I also filmed my NaNoWriMo plan video that I was talking about earlier. That's going up tomorrow and so that's all set and ready to go. I also filmed a video from my other channel, which I'll have linked down below. That's where I just celebrated my one year anniversary of that channel. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, right now I am actually starting to edit this vlog. So this will be, I'm going to be doing these vlogs in separate weeks. So I'll do week one. So today will be, I'll do a wrap up of the first week tonight before I end the vlog. Then tomorrow will be the start of the next vlog and it will continue from there. It's kind of how like I did with Tome Top. So that is my plan. So I'm starting to edit the vlog right now and then hopefully I'll get that done tonight. And I am going to hop in the bath right now and do a bath, do some reading in there and I will see you guys afterwards. Okay everybody, so it's currently 11 o'clock and I have finished writing for the day. I hit my word count so that's really really awesome. I had a great first week of NaNoWriMo despite my ups and downs with me wanting to write. I still am still, as of right now, I am on track to hit that 50,000 word mark at the end of the month. So that's really, really cool. And now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog. So at the end of week one of NaNoWriMo, I have 12,068 words done and I have 10 and a half chapters written. So that's really cool, and that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first week of NaNoWriMo. So if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have my NaNoWriMo page in the description box below, along with all my social media links. If you guys would like to become one of my writing buddies for the next few, uh, upcoming future NaNoWriMo, that would be really, really great. Also, be sure to check out those social media links. My Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are all linked down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for the next vlog. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!